back everybody last video had a lot of views thank you all thanks to the all new subscribers we've got today we're going to be uh, configuring the standalone that we've got here from SCS Delta uh, we have we haven't done it yet so we're going to kind of figure it out along the way we have to tune it so it's not smoking so it's running properly for now without any extra horsepower we just want to get it running Mind you, we don't have a cap, right? It is a straight down pipe, so yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna download the software. We went on the SES Delta website there. I think we got the GDI 6. Install. I think we're done. Let's see what this software looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to our vehicle. It's a little loud. Okay, so there's a noise coming from the transmission what it sounds like step on the clutch let go step on the clutch yeah that's the secondary noise but we still gotta figure out why it's running like that so we're gonna check some base parameters right now see what's going on uh, eventually this is gonna get tuned by a professional tuner we just gotta get it running for now Okay, the accelerator pedal here is also from the F30 donor, original to the engine. However, it doesn't matter because we're running a standalone, which we still haven't configured. Um, so we were able to mount this in. This is pretty good. It's actually comfortable. We can always do some adjustments from here. And I'm going to show you where, where we ran into a problem with the wiring that goes to the pedal. Okay, so this is the connector to the pedal. SCS uh, made that for us. Now the only thing is that this connector comes straight from their wiring harness and we could not uh, disconnect it from there. Otherwise we would have to drill a hole which we are not doing anything like that on this vehicle. Again, we are trying to preserve OEM as much as possible. So let me show you what we've done. Okay, So we cut, this is the wire that's coming from the pedal right now it was integrated into this main harness here so we actually cut it up just making our own connectors right now so for future disassembly we can just disconnect it right here and remove the engine and this is going to be the female female part right here just going to splice the connector on here and it's going to be easy to remove down the road again this engine is probably going to take about an hour to remove it most once we're done with it. So it's not gonna be a big job to remove it. We're gonna make everything easy and uh, accessible. Okay, here's an update on uh, our uh, tuning there. We weren't able to make it run properly. Uh, so we're gonna get our friend uh, Alan and his team to do the tune for us and uh, properly map it. Now the car needs to be running for that and we're gonna tow it over to their shop and they're gonna they're gonna dyno tune it again not for horsepower just to make it run for now until we make all the adjustments so once we're done uh, getting the accelerator pedal in putting the draft shaft and finishing up the loop on the turbo cooling system uh, we're gonna tow it over there
сильно хорошо. We have no throttle response and uh, definitely wrong air fuel ratio. It's not running right. One more chance. Okay, running the engine oil cooler lines. Had to make a few lines. Running it all the way to the front. Right, right there. And it's gonna mount onto this air to cool radiator. Still making up the hydraulic lines there. Engine oil cooler, got that mounted. Just the lines are running through this side for now and going right there. Okay, we got the drive shaft back from past drive lines. Looks like it's gonna fit. We're gonna do a test fit on it and get her fired up and let's see where we go. Good fit. And we should be good to go. The drive shaft fit overall, um, it worked out, everything looks good except for the throttle response, we don't have that right now so next week we're gonna go ahead and figure out why we don't have throttle response and start configuring the ECU before the dyno um, and of course once we have that going we'll be able to test all the other systems 
and start actually doing proper modification, send the car out for exhaust work, as we don't do it here. Mind you guys, we don't have a lot of uh, equipment here. We don't have our machine shop or anything like that, so we're making everything as we go. Uh, when it's all done, then we'll be able to get everything properly made. But it's looking really good, really promising. Looks rough, but um, it's there. So stay tuned for next week when we get it running. And uh, next week we'll tell you what our next steps are going to be. Thanks again for watching and see you guys uh, next week.